What is up everybody, Kyle here, back again on the channel, and today a little something different outside of the action figure world. So a lot of you guys know I love heavy metal, and I have a, I'm a die-hard CD collector. I've been collecting CDs for 30 years, so I thought I'd give a deep dive into my collection, show you guys uh, that are interested, you know, I don't know who will want to check this out, I know a few of you will, probably not the whole audience, but this is my CD collection room. Thought we'd go through, talk a little bit about some of the stuff I like, uh, show you some of the collection, and actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually thinking about selling off this whole room. As you guys know, a lot of you guys that are music fans, hardcore music collectors, the, the way of physical media is unfortunately going away. CDs are dying out. I have a brand new car coming in July. There is no CD player in it, was not even an option. So now only my Jeep Wrangler is the only vehicle I have with a CD player anymore. So I have no way to really play these CDs. I don't have a CD player in the house. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. A lot of my CDs, you know, people think, oh, CDs are worthless. Yeah, the most are. If you got Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, a lot of fly-by-night rap groups, stuff like that is totally worthless. However, uh, heavy metal fans, and I count myself at the top of the heavy metal fan list, I'm sure some of you guys do too. Heavy metal CDs hold their value. People collect physical media in the heavy metal uh, collecting world, and that's good for me trying to resell my or to sell my collection if I do choose to do that. Uh, it'll be tough to part with, but part of me thinks, you know, I have everything backed up into a desktop computer. I have it backed up on two different hard drives. I have Amazon Music where I buy the majority of my CDs the last ten years or so. Those are saved in there. And I'm also thinking about buying maybe Apple Music, Amazon Music, uh, one of the $10 a month things. That way I'll have everything. I'll still have access to everything. I totally know in my heart it's not the same thing. But at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of money in here. I mean, tens of thousands of dollars in here. Uh, it would be nice to maybe, you know, get that money while I still can because I don't know what the future holds for physical media, unfortunately. It's a sad state of affairs. I don't know if this will come back like vinyl 20, 30 years from now. I'm not a vinyl guy. I don't get vinyl. Uh, you can't take it with you. You have all that upkeep. It's just not for me. So uh, I hate the idea of streaming my music, but at the same time, I'm kind of backed into a corner. You know, I know there's a lot of uh, key things in here I can get. You know, I have some CDs that are worth over $100 each. I got some box sets worth over $500. Um, maybe it is time to part the C's and, and part with this room. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's uh, It would be a very, very sad day, but better to do it now while I can get more money for my family and everything else. Uh, who knows? I drop dead tomorrow. These are probably all going to half-price books at five cents each for my wife and kids. Hopefully not, but I wouldn't be shocked. So I think it might be time to part with this stuff as bitter and as sad as it'll be. At least I'll still have it accessible uh, through many other forms. So that uh, comforts me a little bit, but I thought we'd do just a walkthrough, just uh, for memory's sake, and who knows, maybe this will be the last time we walk through here. And who knows what I could turn this room into as a figure room. There's a lot of room in here. There's a lot of stuff. Maybe I sell all this, I buy back my LJN collection. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to do a quick video and kind of a walkthrough here. Uh, I know some of you guys have asked for it, so that's what we're going to do today. All right, we're going to start with maybe my favorite wall. We'll start at the top. You've seen some of these Lemmy figures, Motorhead figures before. There they are. Got the new Sergeant D figure up there just hanging out until I figure out where I want to put him. Road Crew, Motorhead American Ale. It's a, a tap puller deal. Uh, we're getting into some Motorhead here. You can see some of the side projects and whatnot of these Motorhead albums. All the deluxe editions over the years. Getting into Man of War. Love Man of War. Uh, you guys all know I get a lot of comments. King Diamond, Merciful Fate, a favorite of mine. I love the King and I love Merciful Fate. Saxon, New Wave of British Heavy Metal Legends. I love Saxon. Uh, moving over to Saxon into Black Star Riders. Uh, an offshoot kind of Thin Lizzy. And then you got, of course, Thin Lizzy, one of the best. Uh, down into Ozzy. I love Ozzy Osbourne. I've actually had tickets to see Ozzy in concert solo six times. He has canceled six times over the last 30 plus years on me, unfortunately. I have seen original Black Sabbath lineup a few times, though. 
um, Black Sabbath, Tony Naomi solo albums. Uh, you know, some of these are quite rare and pretty tough to find, like Fused with Glenn Hughes. Uh, if you don't know Glenn Hughes, check him out. The, the voice of rock, as he's known. Uh, Graham Bonnet, Alcatraz. Graham Bonnet is one of my favorite singers of all time, uh, which segues into Rainbow, uh, Richie Blackmore, uh, Dio, you know, Graham Bonnet, of course. A lot of great uh, singers in Rainbow. And one of the all-time greats, Ronnie James Dio, a favorite of mine forever. UFO, I know there's some UFO fans out there. I love UFO. Crocus, how about them? You don't get a lot of much love for uh, Crocus or um, anymore. Uh, you got some CKY in there. I was a longtime fan back in the day with my Clutch Roots. Uh, the Scorpions, I got all the new Scorpion reissues. Uh, absolutely love the Scorpions. And Michael Shanker, can't forget about Michael Shanker from UFO, another great one. Uh, how about Uriah Heep? So I got every single Uriah Heep CD, which there is plenty. A lot of Uriah Heep there. Uh, Deep Purple World, there's just many Deep Purple reissues, live albums, uh, you name it. Uh, solo albums, Ian Gillen, al Ian Gillen albums, um, there's a lot. Uh, getting down into some box sets, Venom, Bob Dylan, the band. Uh, for those of you 60s music fan, the band, one of my favorites. The Who, Alice Cooper. You know, a little Kiss box set action. Some more of the band. Cheap Tricks, Easy Top, Deep Purple box set. Uh, you know, country. A lot of heavy metal fans don't like country, but I love old school country, and we'll get into that later. So you got Johnny Cash, Eric Clapton, ACDC, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Kansas, Cream, Willie Nelson. There you go. Uh, getting over to here, let's see. So status quo for you guys over uh, in the UK and Europe, status quo is huge. In America, not that big. A lot of people don't know who they are, but I do love status quo. Going all the way over there, status quo. Now we're getting into more new wave of British heavy metal stuff. So Tank, kind of a Motorhead s band I really regret or recommend checking out. Uh, if you like Motorhead, you'll probably like Tank. Cloven Hoof, uh, another new wave of British heavy metal band. Um, just tons and tons of new wave British heavy metal. I got Venom, of course, one of the best. You got Hobbs out of Australia for uh, you Australians out there. Probably love Hobbs. Uh, new wave British heavy metal compilations. Girl School, you know, kind of uh, teamed up with Motorhead a few times over the years. Budgie, Raven, always a good band to see live. Uh, one of the most underrated bands of all time is a band called Demon. Uh, right here, I absolutely love Demon. Um, I don't know, not I, it's sad because, you know, they're they really good and they should have been checked out by a lot of people uh, back in the day. Um, another great band, Killer. I love Killer, very motorhead s sound. They always call them the motorhead of Belgium. Uh, Crossfire, Spitfire, Acid, Witch Cross, Oz, uh, Tigers of Pantang. Most people know them just uh, via Lars from Metallica talking about them, but they're another good one. Same with Diamond Head. A lot of people know them just via Lars from Metallica. Witchfinder General. I absolutely love Witchfinder General. Uh, one of the awesomest album covers ever. We gotta love uh, Witchfinder General. Um, getting into Witchfind, Satan, Angel Witch. Uh, a lot of good un bands that a lot of people have not heard um, that I strongly recommend to check out. Uh, getting into some American stuff. Uh, American Doom Metal Pentagram. Uh, for the, you guys, check out Last Days Here, Bobby Liebling's story. It's uh, quite the story, but uh, Pentagram. Of course, Trouble out of Chicago, St. Vitus. Um, a lot of good ones there. Going it back to one of the first heavy metal groups, I think, that came out of America, Y&T, very underrated. Another underrated band, Armored Saint. Uh, John Bush, who also sang with Anthrax. I love Armored Saint. Back over to some new wave of British heavy metal, you got... Oh boy, there's a lot in here. You got Jaguar, Getty's Axe, Sweet Savage, Savage, Praying Mantis, um, Gaskin, Fist, uh, Wolf, uh, Man Mendes Prey. Um, a lot of good ones in there that nobody has probably heard, uh, but check them out. Um, Saint, I don't like a lot of Christian heavy metal, but boy, the band Saint is awesome. I don't care. Uh, check it out. Saint is awesome. Uh, TKO from the Northwest, uh, very good. Um, Attack, Cruella, 
Leather Nun, very underrated, one and done. Band called Universe, just a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, band Thunder, uh, very big in the UK, not big in America. Um, we got uh, Attacker, Tyrant, Jersey Dogs, Dust, one of the a big uh, pioneering band back in the day a lot of people don't know about. And then speaking of bands they don't know about that are really pioneering, Riot. A lot of old school metalheads love Riot, and I'm no different. Uh, same with Manila Road. Seen them a few times in concert from Wichita, Kansas, kind of in the Midwest. Uh, a pioneering band that uh, did a lot for heavy metal. Uh, Anvil, of course, the story of Anvil. A lot of you guys know about them. Surth Ungle and uh, Brokus Helm, two very similar bands that are still going today. Um, getting down to Super Christ, Actor, uh, Professor Black, High Spirits, uh, that whole family genre. Love all of those. Um, one of my favorite bands going today, Night Demon. Uh, really awesome. If you've never checked out Night Demon, I strongly recommend it. Uh, some more younger bands here. Huntress, uh, a really good, one of the only female bands I enjoy. I'm not a big fan of the female voice in heavy metal, uh, outside of a few, and Huntress is one of them. Unfortunately, Jill uh, is no longer with us. Uh, Flight is a really good younger band. Haunt, another one. Ex Mortis. Uh, Speedwolf, uh, Motorhead sounding band I absolutely love. Um, you got Savage Master, another female singer. Um, you got Horizont, Enforcer, Hellfire, uh, Void, um, Black Trip. A lot of good young bands in this uh, section right over here. <laughs> and then you go down, you got White Wizard. Uh, I always enjoyed White Wizard, Striker, Skullfist, Elm Street, uh, Bible of the Devil. Carriage, New Gods, Cauldron, uh, Spellcaster, a lot of younger, heavy up, uh, heavy up and coming metal bands. I've seen a lot of those bands in concert over the year. Um, Sleezer, Asimal, Iron Lamb, another uh, Motorhead sounding band. Um, just a lot of different ones uh, that you guys probably never heard of, but Skeletor, Metallion, uh, Vulture. There's two different Vulture bands out there. They're both good. Toxic Holocaust, a, a really good one. Ranger. Very uh, newer thrash, uh, definitely worth checking out. Gamma Bomb from the UK, uh, a municipal waste vibe to them. Speaking of municipal waste, there they are. Iron Reagan, uh, Bat, uh, a lot of their offshoot bands. Uh, Lich King, Condition Critical, Iron Reagan, I already said. Wear Squatch, a young band, uh, haven't heard much from in a while. Hatchet, and getting over to here. Battle Cross, uh, White Nails from uh, French Canada. Noctum, Ice War, um, there's a lot of good ones in there. Wilson from Detroit, I saw them on the cruise a couple times. Uh, Skeleton Witch, Black, uh, Black Tusk, Baroness, a lot of people are probably familiar with Baroness. Mutoid Man, High Reaper, Iron Spell, Dust Bolt, Havoc, a great up-and-coming band Havoc. They just released, I think, their fifth album it was. Um, and then uh, you get down to here, we got Beach Boys. You know, I do have a, a classic uh, rock and uh, classic days side to me as well. So you got the Beach Boys there. Getting over to LA Guns. And then you get into Germany stuff with some Primal Fear and Sinner. I actually need to listen to this pile here. That's why they're stacked that way, as I have not listened to them yet. Uh, same with over here. Um, I got the new Saxon reissues I have not checked out yet. Some new White Snake. Uh, Midnight, a great younger band as well. Meet Puppets, Gomez, um, got some down here, Power Wolf, I don't know if a lot of you guys know about Power Wolf, uh, an up and coming band, I mean they've been around a while though, uh, Samson, New Wave of British Heavy Metal, uh, Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden got his start in Samson, so you got some Death and some Jethro Tull, Tankard, a, a great one, Bulldozer, uh, some of you guys may know the band Bulldozer, Celtic Frost of course, so that's one CD rack. All right, here's the next wall, guys. Checking it out, going kind of quick. You got some Motorhead uh, paraphernalia up here. A little Ozzy, Iron Maiden. Uh, you got the Iron Maiden Funko Pops. How about Motorhead, The World Is Yours? Got that sign to the show back when it shortly came out. Awesome, awesome. Some Kiss Pop vinyls. Got an Ozzy statue, Johnny Cash Pop vinyl. There's the Vic Rattlehead and Ozzy. Speak of the Devil, probably the first uh, heavy metal cover that really spoke to me as a kid. Uh, very cool. You can see the jelly in his mouth. 
But uh, as a young kid of, I don't know, nine years old, that thing was everything I needed to see that I knew I loved heavy metal. Um, getting into here, the Bear Family Johnny Cash records, extremely rare. Um, also the Carl Perkins ones. Uh, I love Carl Perkins. I love Johnny Cash, Chuck Berry. A lot of that younger stuff from the 50s and 60s uh, country and early rock favorites of mine. Um, there's some George Harrison box sets. George Harrison, uh, one of the greatest of all time. My favorite Beatle by Miles. Uh, I love his solo albums. Very, very deep uh, cuts in there that a lot of people have probably never heard. Uh, obviously, Led Zeppelin in every collection. Buck Owens, another great young country. I, I wouldn't say young country, but back in the day, uh, the, the formative years of country breaking through. A lot of people just joke off the hee-haw stuff, but Buck's got a deep catalog that's really good. Johnny Cash, I mean, I have over 200 Johnny Cash CDs. I have every album he ever made, and there's a lot of them. Um, so there's more of those. I'll get down here. Uh, Willie Nelson, I got all the Willie Nelson albums. Uh, some good, some great, some passable, but I got every Willie Nelson album uh, going all the way down. Uh, one of the 80s, the only 80s country people I like, Marty Stewart. I love Marty Stewart. He's got the old school sound, of course. Um... Can't go wrong with Creedence Clearwater Revival. Uh, Hank Williams III, a little blend of metal and country. Same with Shooter Jennings. Um, good with those. Then Waylon Jennings, my all-time favorite in country. I got every Waylon Jennings album. Going into the Moody Blues. My dad is a huge Moody Blues fan. Rubbed off on me. I do love the Moody Blues. Same with the Monkees. I love the Monkees as a kid. I still love them now. Mike Nesmith, totally underrated. Love Mike Nesmith. Let's go into that. A little Captain America few select dvds there eric clapton uh i love eric clapton everything Derek and the dominoes all the way to cream and solo career uh you name it so i got all the eric clapton albums everything they've he's ever done same with the who everything the who's ever done even the solo career john and twistle stuff uh john and twistle an all-time favorite probably my favorite bass guitarist of all time um then you get into the beatles section this is pretty huge. Everybody likes the Beatles, you know, especially as a young kid. Uh, that would gave me my uh, my base for music, I would say, way back in the day, uh, and I went from there. And it, I don't know if there's a better start starting point than the Beatles, but I have every single Beatles album, every single Beatles solo CD from all four members, and then tons of different offshoots across the uh, the horn. So. A lot, a lot of Beatles CDs on top of many, many concert bootlegs uh, and stuff over the years. So you can see these are all Beatles, Beatles related CDs, this whole section. There is a lot. So that is all 100% Beatles. Except for this one little section right here that is Electric Light Orchestra, Jeff Lynne, The Move. Uh, all the bands that uh, Jeff Lynn's been around. I'm a big Jeff Lynn fan. I think he's very underrated too. Um, getting over to this section here, there's Jethro Tull, all the Jethro Tull box sets, and uh, White Snake box set. Um, get into the band. I talked about the band earlier. I love the band. Elvis Costello, another one I really enjoy. Uh, Weezer. I loved Weezer. It's one of the 90s bands I love and grew up with. Um, and a band called Ween. Hopefully you guys know Ween. Very similar. Uh, 90s band. Uh, very good. But these are all Ween CDs all the way down on the on the far right. All the way through. Hey, there's a Motorhead guitar. Limited edition. Uh, and then Bob Dylan. These are all Bob Dylan here in these two rows on the bottom all the way up. There's Yoda. Love Bob Dylan. I've seen Bob Dylan over 25 times in concert. So big, big Bob Dylan fan. So... There is that section. Let's move on to the next section. All right, here we are with a little bit of an Ozzy collection. Got a sweet Hank Williams uh, box set. It actually plays. There's that. The Bidge and Purge uh, Metallica box set. We've very famous, very rare Iron Maiden box set. Everything included there. I uh, got the Aerosmith box of fire. This is the, one of the greatest box sets of all time, this Johnny Cash one. Uh, I think it's like 62 different CDs in there. Uh, just a heavy, heavy hitter box set. How about uh, the Monkees? I told you I love the Monkees. These Monkees box sets are expensive. Brand new, over $300 now. 
Um, very, very expensive sets. The Black Sabbath box set, Alice Cooper, Nazareth. There you go. Twisted Sister, Status Quo box set, Moody Blues box set. You got a Blur box set. I know we got some people from the UK. I strongly prefer uh, Blur to Gorillaz. Um, Bob Dylan. A lot of Bob Dylan bootleg series box sets there. The Sweet, one of my favorites. Coheed and Cambria. I uh, got the heavy duty newer uh, Paul McCartney box sets. Awesome, awesome box sets. Uh, that is how a box set is done. Uh, I don't know if I could ever part with those. Those are pretty awesome. Um, you got a signed drum head by Motorhead back in the day. One of my favorite pieces in my collection. Uh, I just talked about how much I love the Paul McCartney box sets. Well, there's the uh, Metallica ones, the first four. Those are very, very well done box sets. Got an Ozzy, Megadeth, Sabaton. Sergeant Pepper, Hawkwind, Motorhead box sets, Saxon box sets. Going down to the final, you got some Status Quo, George Harrison, The Band, UFO, The Who, Bob Dylan, Willie Nelson, the big Waylon Jennings box sets. Uh, a lot of good stuff there. You got a Megadeth guitar. Love Megadeth, obviously. We're moving over to this corner. Got autographed uh, Megadeth from the time I met them. They all autographed that CD cover for me. Megadeth box set. Volbeat. I know uh, some people love Volbeat. Some people hate them. I actually do like them, especially their earlier stuff. Uh, Zach Wild autograph stuff. Times I met Zach Wild. Rob Halford, the metal god himself. I absolutely love Rob Halford autographed. Judas Priest box set. And then you get into uh, some Metallica. How about some Metallica pops? Alice Cooper pops. More Metallica CDs. Then getting down to some more heavy metal stuff. So we got Razor, we got Agent Steel, Jag Panzer, Dark Angel, Laz Rocket, Nuclear Assault, Flotsam and Jetsam, Toxic. A lot of earlier metal bands there. Iron Maiden. Right, next up, we got Megadeth up there at the top. Autographed when I met Megadeth back in the day. Megadeth box set. Volbeat uh, autographed. Bl Black Label Society, Zach Wilde autograph. Rob Halford, the Metal God autograph. Judas Priest box set. Get into some Metallica. Metallica pop vinyls. Alice Cooper. More Metallica. And then we get into some uh, younger bands. Well, not younger bands, but uh, 80s bands. Hirax. Uh, Razor. Flotsam and Jetsam. Dark Angel. Laz Rocket. Wrathchild America. Nuclear Assault. Um, some of those classic 80s heavy metal bands. Um, Megadeth, complete collection of Megadeth stuff right there. Getting into more uh, Testament, Exodus, Forbidden, Metal Allegiance. Uh, yeah, there. Then get Stormtroopers of Death, Anthrax, Joey Belladonna, Anthrax related uh, albums. The entire Annihilator collection, the entire Slayer collection. Uh, getting into Overkill and Death Angel. Just some of my, the heavy metal greats of all time. Uh, and every one of these are complete. The whole discography. So you got Creator, Sodom, Destruction. You know, the big three of German thrash metal. You can't have a metal collection without every single Iron Maiden album. It's got all the Iron Maiden live ones. All the Bruce Dickinson solo albums. Same thing with Judas Priest. All the Judas Priest albums. Halford solo albums. Glenn Tipton solo albums. Uh, you name it there. Uh, getting down into here. Five Horse Johnson, Valiant Thor, High on Fire, Fu Manchu, Freedom Hawk, Monster Truck, all the Black Label Society, Zach Wild albums, all the Coheed and Cambria, the band The Sword, Volby, Killer Be Killed, Mastodon, Corrosion of Conformity, all their albums. Move a little Megadeth out of the way here. Uh, every single Gravedigger album. Great German Thrash. Death. Red Fang. Orange Goblin. Clutch. An absolute favorite of mine, Clutch. All the Blind Ar Guardian albums. Iced Earth albums. Charred Walls of the Damned. Hammerfall. All the Hammerfall albums. Amon Amarth. Grand Magus. Doro, another female singer. Oh, there's me and my wife. I think that was the day we got married. Sinner. 
Skull and Bones, Running Wild, nothing like some pirate metal, Running Wild. Getting down into here, Celtic Frost, Misfits, every Misfits album, all the Danzig albums, Lordy, Guar, Green Jelly, Carcass, Hatebreed, Pantera, Down, Sepultura. Of course, move down here, you got Crowbar, Sabotage, DRI, Ed Guy. A lot of people might not know Ed Guy. Avantasia, Sabaton, all the Halloweens, all the Gamma Rays, Tear. Uh, you got Rob Zombie and Related. <clears throat> and then the bottom is all Faith No More, Mr. Bungle, Mike Patton related stuff all across the bottom. So that's one other section. All right, kind of the final section there. A band called Sound of the Urchin up there, Autograph. Great guys, great band. Bunch of uh, beers, Iron Maiden, Mastodon, Clutch, Motorhead, South Park, Megadeth beer, Huntress back there, Mastodon. Getting down into the CDs here. So then you got The Sweet, one of my favorite bands, The Sweet, into Cheap Trick, another favorite 70s band of mine, into Aerosmith and Aerosmith Related. Going down here, you got a shelf full of Queen, all the Queen albums. All the KISS albums, all the KISS solo albums, getting into April Wine, a little Blue Oyster Cult, The Darkness from the UK, The Wild Hearts from the UK, two of my favorite bands, Nazareth, Classic 70s, Ted Nugent, and we go on to Slade, not really known in America, but uh, huge in Europe, Alice Cooper, got all the ZZ Tops. There's Rush Pop Vinyls. Also have all the Rush albums, of course. And more Rush albums. Here's stuff I recently listened to that I haven't filed away. Annihilator, Tankard, uh, Harry Nielsen. There's all the T-Rex albums. Big T-Rex fan. And then you got Rancid and Rancid related albums. I love Rancid. Joey Ramone Pop. You got Wasp, Hanoi Rocks, Fozzy. Uh, for you wrestling fans out there, Blood Divisions, signed by Chris Jericho, uh, a band he's in that a lot of people don't even know about. Um, you got all of Van Halen's, of course, Sammy Hagar's, all the Ramones, Real Big Fish, Ska Band, Mighty Mighty Boss Tone, my two favorites, Social Distortion, all the Motley Crues, Twisted Sister, D. Snyder's, um, little various Guns N' Roses, Extreme. LA Guns, you got uh, Supergrass, Gorillas, Kula Shaker, some of the English bands, uh, Queens of the Stone Age. Well, there it is. I hope you had a enjoyful time walking down, uh, looking through my collection, talking about it real briefly, see what I got. Um, we'll see what happens in the future. We'll see if this stuff sticks around or if it doesn't. But Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment. I mean, we could talk heavy metal all day. I would love to hear your commentary on any kind of music for the most part. But there it is, a quick walkthrough video. We'll see everybody real, real soon.